we get the privilege and the responsibility to document places that have never seen cameras before and share them with the world, that is a highly moral responsibility that we as Africans are telling the African stories and we need to tell them the right way. My name is Jigar Ganatra and I'm a documentary filmmaker and I'm the founder of African School of Storytelling. The only thing that ever made a real change in this world is stories. From an individual level, to a societal level, to a global level, stories shape everything. And for so long, the story that the world has told about Africa has been far from the truth. In people's mind, Africa is a dark continent. Most people in the world don't know about the diversity that exists in Africa. The wisdom of its people, of its land, and the glory of its nature. This is something that really needs to be felt by every human being in the world. If we're going to change this image of Africa, it's not going to happen with one person, 10 people, 100 people. It's going to happen to thousands of people mobilizing and telling the stories together. We want to create the African narrative from the grassroots. So this is why we started AfroSource as an NGO that impacts the next generation of photographers and filmmakers in Africa with life-changing opportunities. Frank Papushka and myself were climbing Kilimanjaro. And while we were climbing, we were talking about our filmmaking career and how we see it going forward. We realized that there is no film school in Tanzania that we know of, so we are really filling a gap. Currently, the mentorship programs that AfriSource offers are wildlife photography, wildlife filmmaking, underwater filmmaking, cultural documentary filmmaking, and adventure filmmaking. There's four things that make AfriSource mentorship programs completely different from any other educational opportunity provided anywhere else in the world. One, it's all expenses paid. The second thing is hands-on learning. Mentees have to think on their feet because they're put into real-life situations doing actual assignments and thinking like a filmmaker. Number three, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. You're getting a chance to be with a professional filmmaker or photographer on the field, get direct access to them, get into all of their experience that they've ever had. And number four is networking opportunities. Mentees are getting direct access to this entire network that we've built over the years, working in Africa and making films here. The goal always was enhancing or empowering other filmmakers to be able to tell our own stories because as Africa, we are always like left out in terms of like raising our voice. We always depend on other people to come and tell our own stories. So by having a hub of filmmakers and storytellers, we can really be able to tell our stories as a continent. So we don't see it as a threat, but rather an opportunity for Africa to speak out and to be heard in the world level. AfriSource gets hundreds of applications for each of its mentorship programs. And unfortunately, we can't select more than five mentees for each program. And that's why our selection process is so important. We want to choose the people who have a real motivation and a real hunger and enthusiasm for telling a particular story. They need to have a passion for that particular program that they're applying for. We want to create international level filmmakers, photographers. We really want to create stars. <laughs> kuhifadhi mazingira ya korali ambako kule upande wa Shimoni tunafanya kitu inaitwa Coral Reef kumbe kwamba nimechagulia kujiunga na Afrisos kwenda kufanya hiyo mentorship program nimejitokelezea kwa mimi kutimiza ndoto zangu na ndoto zangu kama nilivyokuwa nimesema awali ni kukuwa kukuwa mtengenezaji filamu wa kuhifadhi mazingira ya bahari but nilikuwa na Jigi na Frank ambao walinifunza jinsi ya Na pia jigi ya liusika pakubwa kwa sababu alinifundisha jinsi ya kufanya hiyo setting yezo kamera kila kitu, hiyo casing yake chini ya maji ikiwemo hata kama siyo mafia. Lakini ninapo safiri kurudi Kenya, bado nitendeleza issue hole. Ni umbe ziko, lakini zinafaa tuzitunze kwa sababu endapo tungetaka kuziona mbeleni ama vizazi vyetu vinapo kuja kuziona mbeleni, basi ni jikumuletu sisi wa vizazi za sahi, tuwe tutavitunza ili vikuemo. It's not just about fulfilling the dreams of photographers and filmmakers, it's beyond that. We're making an impact environmentally, socially, culturally. By training underwater filmmakers, we're telling the stories of the ocean, the fragility of the marine ecosystem. We're telling stories about conservation, wildlife, heroes of Africa who are rangers. We're giving justice to these tribes who are going to die off and making a real impact. At the moment, our resource is primarily funded by the money that myself and Frank are making through media production. We are looking for diverse ways 
of bringing income to the organization. So for this first year, we've only been able to operate in Tanzania. In a year's time from now, we'll be launching the online component of AfriSource where people can engage while sitting at their home and learn about African storytelling. The filmmaking industry in Africa is really going full speed. Big companies are starting to trust locals that can deliver high quality content. The future of AfriSource is very exciting because we are really looking forward to power all the countries in Africa and make sure all the people who have a passion in filmmaking get the right opportunity to really learn more and to grow their network. In our lives, for us to be fulfilled or happy, we need to have made a social impact or an environmental impact, something beyond ourselves. It's really an amazing feeling to see somebody live their dreams.